Hello and welcome to City Happenings for the week of May 26th. Papillion is happy for its involvement with the Special Olympics. Several of our police officers took part in the Special Olympics torch run that began at Shadow Lake Town Center. You know, I have a chance to be part of something that's spectacular and a lot of people don't realize this, but this is a worldwide event that passes through the community that I protect and serve as a police officer. And it's my chance to represent the Papillion Police Department, which is an honor and a privilege to do so. Special Olympics is true to my heart. That's why I try to participate every year as a police officer. I am one of estimated 85,000 police officers who participate around the world. And last year, the Special Olympics, through the torch run, raised $34 million, which makes it their largest grassroots fundraiser and public relations vehicle. So I'm very excited to be part of it. We're not always able to participate because of our shift work. And we've got a nice collection of people who were able to come out and participate in this great event. And I love running besides my, beside my brothers and sisters. It's, it really gives me a really special feeling. And, it, and I'm excited that I'm doing something good for the Special Olympics community. There's even more community involvement by our police department. A fundraiser event called Mustaches for Kids has some of our officers trying to grow mustaches. A bunch of guys got together and thought, there's got to be a way for people like us to raise money that uh, aren't probably going to run a 10K or a 5K. So they got together and said, hey, um, everybody looks silly when they're trying to grow a mustache out. So why don't we get together and get sponsors? And it just kind of started off as a silly idea and it exploded. It went across uh, the country. There's about 20 chapters now. I got involved with Mustaches for Kids because I like growing a creepy mustache once a year. And in the past, I've never had a good reason to do it. And this year I do. What we're doing right now is donating for this year to Camp Koholo, which is a camp in Gretna, Nebraska that caters to all children with uh, cancer and blood disorders. And these kids require a special camp with special staff. Um, and to be able to do that, they have to rely all on donated funds. Camp Koholo happens out at the Gretna 4-H camp. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had the opportunity to be able to work out there on the high ropes course. I know personally the kind of difference and um, the uh, encouragement and the courage that the experiences that a, a child has out at the Gretna 4-H camp can give them. And I can only imagine uh, how much more that must be uh, for a child going through Camp Koholo who's dealing with all the issues that they are dealing, dealing with the normal issues that, it, that kids are dealing with growing up and trying to figure out how life works. And on top of that, having to deal with all the issues that come with um, having cancer or a blood disorder and having to deal with that and to deal with the way that kids respond to them and that sort of thing. So um, I am certain that the experiences they have out there at the Gretna 4-H camp through Camp Koholo uh, must just be a, a really high, a high point uh, for their year, for sure. The Click It or Ticket safety program is in full swing. It runs through May 31st. Always buckle up when driving or riding. A grant from the Nebraska Office of Highway Safety funds this program. There's still time for you to sign up for the Summer Great Program. It's open to all current Papillion La Vista School District 6th and 7th graders. This is on a first come, first serve basis, so please sign up soon. Choose from one of our two sessions. For more information, please call Officer Phil Tackett at 597-2035 or 898-0424. Vendors are still needed for Papillion's Farmer's Market. The market will be at City Park every Wednesday night from 5 to 8, beginning June 10th and running through August 26th. Sell fresh produce or homemade items there. There's no limit on the number of vendors, so please call 597-2041 to reserve your space today. That's your update for this week in the city. Thanks for watching.